Hello, my YouTube friends. I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Robot Structure Analysis Professional. In this lesson, I just want to teach you on how you can quickly model your portal frame in Robot Structure Analysis without wasting any time. So you see that the model was created within very few minutes and if you are able to use this method, you just spend most of the time on loading, analysis and design. You don't have to spend time on modeling. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel, like my videos and also turn on the bell notification. Now, I just want to inform all of you that I have two courses, one in robot structure analysis for concrete buildings, the other one for steel structure. So make sure that you check the links in the description and also the first comment so that you can check out the courses. Maybe you may be interested. Who never knows? All right. Okay, so now I'll proceed in this lesson. And what I'm going to do is to simply close what I have here. So I'll simply go to start and click on, let me just go to start there. Click on start and click on new project. Now, when you just open robot structure analysis by double clicking, you know, the robot, the software on your desktop, this is what you'll be presented with. So just make sure that you go to steel structures and just click on no because you don't want to save what you have there. So this is our window. And the first thing that I want to do is to just counter check the units here. I'll go to tools and click on units and formats. So from here, you see that there are some imperial units here. If these are the units that you are using, well and good, you can proceed. But for me, I want to use metrics. So I'll change to millimeters and change all these to millimeters. Okay, just like that. And this one and that one. But I'm just more interested in structure dimensions. Click OK. All right. So now the next step for you is to simply go to add-ins and you see that you have the frame generator. Okay, add-ins and click on frame generator. All right, so this is what we have. I'll just drag it somewhere here. Then you just need to go to the base and you see that currently we just have one bay. So if you want to have two bays, you just need to click on add. Then you have the two bays like that, as you can see from here. All right, so now simply go to geometry. Then you see that the two bays are right there, the first bay and the second bay. You can even see that the selection changes from there. So from here, if you want, you can use a single pitch roof. If I click on it, you can select like that and it changes. You can go to bay number two and click on single. You see that you are going to have the structure like that if this is what you want. But for me, I want a gable. Go to bay number two, change to gable, and this is what we get. Now, just make sure that you click on bay symmetry so that you don't have to change everything. You can just change on one bay and the other one will change. So these are the dimensions for our frame. You can read from what is here. HR, for this is the height from this level up to the apex. You can change it from here. Or if you want, you can change from here or just change the angle. Maybe I want to have 12 degrees. You notice that this one will change, maybe 12. Click there, you see that it changes. Now go to bay number two and do the same. 12 degrees, click. You see it will change and it looks symmetrical. Okay. Now you can proceed and now you just be reading from here. HCL, this is the height from the right, the left and the right. This is the base. The, the B, which is the width, you can change. I'll maintain the way it is. Right, but make sure that you change under B1 and counter check to make sure that in B2 you have the same. All right, actually, make sure that you have symmetrical for both this one and also I'll just click on B number one and also symmetrical. So that as you change here, it changes on both sides. Then you go to B1 and do the same. So this is self explanatory. If I want to reduce this one maybe to 12,000. Is 12 meters i can go to bay number two and also do the same you can if that is what you want you can see that the other one is bigger the other one is smaller so i have to make sure that i also change the other one and you see that it's now symmetrical like that the supports i think i'll leave it at pinned the columns you can see that this is where you can change the columns if you want just click there 
and you now pick the columns i'll pick the 300 it's okay for me right then the beams you can also change the beams from here i'll leave it the way it is and that is the material you can change the material from here if you want i'll go to the trusses you can decide now if you want to use these trusses or just the members which are the rafters if you want to change to this one you can and you see that it will change from here now you have to switch from one bed to the other and also pick the same one you see that now you are going to have something similar but maybe for me i just want to use the rafters so i'll just pick this one go to bed number two and pick the same one which is a rafter so that it stays the way it is now you need to change also the we are under the trusses you need to change the members that we are using here okay uh, that is of course we are not using the the, the trusses so you can you, you are not sub, we are not changing anything here in this case because we are using the uh, the rafters then you go to deck slabs if you have some decking that you want to add if i just click there you see that i can add some decking but in this case i don't want if you want to add it on the left you can check it from here but i'll simply remove it once you check it now counter check the dimensions from here this is self-explanatory you know s r h s that is the height on the right that is the height on the left you see the dimensions there so you can proceed and change all these but for me i don't want any slab decking the eaves if you want to add some eaves here again this is self-explanatory if i add you know i can add on the left maybe the right remove this one i can add the eaves and also now change the sections here i don't want to add this this is not how i want it i can change all these as you can see go to brackets if you want to add these brackets you can just check from here the dimension so but you need first of all to activate like that so that now you can change the dimensions from here with reference to this picture that we have here all right i don't want the bracket so i will leave it the palings i want the palings of course for the palings you notice that if you want the numbers for example four palings you can check on the left and also on the right maybe let me change to five you see what will happen here you can see that the number will change maybe five also here it will change on the other side all right so padding spacing we are using the number if you want to use by spacing you can activate this one maybe i want to use the spacing i think one two is okay so i'll go by spacing the number so i'll leave it there the dimensions again you can read from what is here you can also read here and make sure that you specify you know according to your design types of palings if you want single palings or continuous palings it means that if you want single palings the palings will break on the rafters there if you want a continuous one you can choose from here but i want a single palings and for the palings these are the sections and that is the material you can check it from there roof ridge beam you can change it from here maybe for the roof ridge beam let me change this one to 100 the material still is fine the struts you can change from here but i'll just maintain the way it is the bracings once again you see that we have how many beds uh, one two three four how many spans so for the first one we just want to have the bracings on the first and also on the last okay and that is the type of bracing that you want to use you can change it from there if you want for the roof also you can see from here this is the one that we want the right wall so i'll not change these i'm just concerned with the first one and the fourth one as you can see from here we have one two three four you can even check it from here all right outer walls do you want to have some columns for example if you click i want to have for the outer walls i want to have this one go to bay number one and also change the same one pick the correct configuration that you want but you don't have to worry you can also model within here whatever changes you need to make you know afterwards you can do that i don't want to add the loads it's just the model that i want so i'm done here and i'll just click on ok let's see what you get you don't need to worry again you can just use the tools within there to modify i'll just click on let me just click on yes all right let me click on no let me click on yes there instability do you want to continue oh just click on yes here don't worry you don't worry about that one then close this one 
and here we are now you notice i think i didn't change the rafters the members are too big you don't have to worry as i said again you can simply select these and change them for example select this one now it's just modifications here then right click and uh, select similar let me just move this side but i don't obstruct you so just right click and uh, i want to select similar where is that escape from my keyboard select it right click select similar then by cross section so all those rafters are selected now i can come down here under the properties you notice that it's picking which one is this let me click here it's picking this ipe let me click here i want to pick maybe for the rafters let me pick a uh, maybe 180 let me click on yes click on yes okay so you can change as you wish as you can see those members have changed as i said you don't have to worry any changes later on can be made if i select this one oh uh, these ones here escape once on my keyboard select once again on it this is 240 maybe let me change this to 240 and then this one should be smaller so right click select similar okay again i don't want to obstruct you let me do move it like there select this one right click select similar by cross section let me change this one maybe the one should be to 240 all right so we have 300 where is 240 right here we click outside then i'll reduce this maybe select this one right click select similar by cross section and i want to change this one maybe let me reduce it to maybe 160 it's entirely up to or 180 i think i'll leave it so all these modifications now can be made here but in robo structure analysis you don't want you don't need to worry about the member sizes because you are able to do automatic design of all the steel members and the software can pick you know the correct sizing of the members and that is what we have you know discussed adequately in the course robo structure analysis for steel structures but for now this is what i wanted to show you now you can spend your time on loading on analysis and design you notice that the modeling is very very fast if you have to use revit i mean robo structure analysis tools here to model this you are going to spend a bit of time but with these tools with that plugging there or with that adding there you are able to do it so quickly in robo structure analysis see you in some upcoming lessons